Aneth and Pham, or what we know as Anna, is a player from Australia who was born on October 26, 1999. Early in his career he was appointed as a substitute for for at Invictus Gaming, where his mother was half supportive at first. However with Anathan's brother convincing her, the family later showed full support and still do to this day. At Invictus Gaming, most notable accomplishment with the team was defeating Newbie the Another Monster Team in China in the Grand Finals of NEA 2016. Until Invictus Gaming failed to enter and compete at TI 2016 and made Anna leave the team. Then Fly invites Anna to join OG, but Anna plays mid and No Tail plays carry at that time. And this is a high pressure for Anna, considering the high expectations from fans for this new player at OG. Because at that time OG managed to win two majors, the Frankfurt Major, and also the Manila Major. But Arna proved itself with its charming appearance at the 2016 Boston Major. Here, Skylark going for a play on he Arna. does have dust. He get this kill in time, jumping out with Matter. The Lincolns will be popped, but there's backup. Jarex comes forward, and Matter just immediately raises and TPs out. He realizes he's not getting this kill. Jarex rolling forward, Dud tries to get forward, but Jarex immediately brings back out of his turn. And there's this floor with the duel. The search strike, the backup from No Tail thumbs out. The mid Skylark is worth low G. Moving up to the high ground and ready to try and play Mega Creeps at 37 minutes in. My god, Jarek's on this Earth Spirit. You don't let that boy have Earth Spirit if you want to win games. Chaotic offering Slave down. Matter is in trouble. He'll infest, keeping himself alive for the time being. They'll run, they'll try and hide. Matter caught out again by Jarek. Jumps forward with the boulder smash. And GG is called. Your champions are OG. No tail of like these, they've won three majors. It's an incredible feat. And Finn and Moe giving us a real, real, absolute cracker of a final series. Game three in particular will go down as one of the best games of Dota played at a, a live LAN event in a while. But OG, I mean, these, these guys are absolutely amazing. They're incredible. Guys. The team's performance continued to stay consistent, with additional top 4 performances at Dota Pit League Season 5, Star Ladder I League Season 3, and Dota 2 Asia Championships 2017. You're gonna lose your bear. They stun, they hold him in. Anna will jump up, but now he's magnetized up. Overcurrent and burning, teaming up. Anna's gone. No buyback available. This will be it if No Tail goes down. They're already up against Megas. No one's left alive to defend. GG one more. Invictus Gaming win DAC. The biggest turning point of my career was when we lost DAC. It was against my old team, IG. It's really frustrating. Yeah. It was a hard game. It's a hard game. But uh, we had another big tournament in two weeks, which was Kiev, and I just pushed on. Now it's like a good He just needed a second rock. If he can live, he may not be able to. The Chakrams are killing him off. No tail will watch maniacally as Solo has to run back to his fountain. And here they come. Stampede, jump forward, catch out Lil. The rocks will drop, but they just don't have the damage to repel OG. Go to two major winners here in Kiev. They upset the local team and OG. You would think with that celebration. Arna would then take his second major at Kiev. And this is the last major before TI 2017. 
and in 2017 we know that OG is one of the favorite fans to enter TI. And this will be the first TI for Ana after two major wins. While OG himself is known for his strong team in the majors, but always loses in TI. And in 2017 we all know that the winner is Team Liquid, while Ana and OG finished in 7 to 8 positions. After the TI 2017 failure, there was a lot of confusion, especially within Ana. Then Ana announced that he would be taking a break from the competitive scene. This can be said to be the year Ana wanted to find its true self. I was just like young and I mean, after TI7, I would hear about what the haters would say, and uh, it affected me. If I had to go through what he had gone through at the age of 17, I think I would have crumbled way before he did. Everyone's talented in the game, but not everybody has a good mindset. You have to be strong. If you want to be the absolute best, you have to be mentally stronger than everyone else. It's so easy for people to just crumble when they start losing. It's just one tournament, but you screw it up once and like, it's gone. It's a lot of pressure, and I didn't really enjoy that pressure. After TI7, Anna, he, he wasn't ready to keep going. In early June, OG was forced to reshuffle due to the departure of Fly and S4 in the last seconds before TI. Then Anna joined the OG team for the second time. After TI7, I felt really drained. I went back home and I just thought about like the year. Having a break, there was a lot of self-reflecting. Like, uh, I guess I grew up. Team OG formed a fresh roster with Anna as Kerry, Tops and the proven pub star as a mid-player. Seb, who was previously a coach, now fills the off position. And Jarax remains in the support position. But this time, No Tail becomes the support and also the team captain. Team OG came from Europe Regional Qualifier. It's about looking at every game one by one. But uh, at the end of the day, our understanding of the game was ahead of these teams. OG made it to the playoffs and showed their dominance in the upper bracket. Damage coming in with the hurl boulder on the run, trying to get the heck out of here, but they are isolated, they are killed. Oh, they're gonna take a lane of barracks. Hard to feel something building here for OG. Previous year at TI7, it seemed like Ana, he was the one that was playing inconsistently, not doing well, getting the most heat from the public. And now all of a sudden, people started looking back and being like, maybe Ana was the magic to their team. Ana taking the tier three tower, now moving on to the other barracks. How quickly things change, only now. I'm trying my best. against PSG LGD. On 
the control. Jared straight it on and Ahmed. Ahmed wants the big enemy, but it's too late. Saunders finds no tell on the side. The five might still be there straight Going into the grand finals, OG is comfortable with their strategy. They know that their best hero is Anna's Spectre, and they're able to dominate LGD again in game one with that hero. In game two and three, LG de Stompana and rest of OG. Their plan should have worked, but it ended up working. They'll get the Aegis out of his hands. They do lose. The, the, the Aegis, can they kill him a second time? For the TP, the sub -ray. But The things that should have worked for us, didn't work for us. It's Dota. Shit happens. Obviously, this is a rough loss. But in game four, Arna did some unforgettable actions. On the wrong target, but the snowball pass will catch Anna. Anna is in trouble. The blood right silence connects. He's got the man to back up in a second, but can he really play his way out of this one? He cannot. Anna down for a minute and a half. People were asking us, like, what about the Anna? You know, the selling items. I was like, what are you talking about? Which item did he sell? Anna, I think he just immediately recognized, I'm dead. We lose the game. I need to do whatever possible to clutch this. So he drags his items and sells them to ensure that he has the buyback gold. Three dead on LGD. OG hitting the agent, hitting the agent. We are going to the game. Dude, I love this game so much, man. We are going to a game five. There we have it. OG coming up, tying it up 2-2. Two, two. I'm just glad I'm still alive. That's all I can say. In game five. Honor showed how Imba the Ember Spirit in his hand. Oh my god, my boy. Oh shit, that look, you're look. so fucking good, focus, man. Focus, focus up, bros. Focus up, we're Small. not giving them anything, we're fucking them. Gage the remnant across, they'll get the kill off to Chalice, Global. but now Hades in the middle of it all. He uses himself on the flame guard, ticking it right now, like the side of fish. The RP, Sim, he's got the control on to Arme. As OG, they fight three, they look towards Sonders, surrounding him in the pit. Sonders, he'll go down as well. Oh, the buyback from Anna, securing the fight here for OG. There's only X Nova left alive, but not for long. They chase him down, they get the team wipe. He can't get out of it. Sunday, can he get it off? He can't! I, I, I can notice you, I can notice you, yes. Very soon. Somnus, down to half health. He's trying to retreat the snow to the agent. Oh, oh my god. Team. Your TIA And after the Cinderella story on TI-8, Anna again decided to take a break. He returned to the active team in March 2019, after a few months off, as OG was struggling yet again to achieve any significant result. Anna with OG made it to the upper bracket to the main event. G versus Newbie Game 1. Tossed back, they found themselves a target, but Bristol back with a fresh Assault Kuras. That's a lot of life and armor they have to get through. Yuaz giving it a shot. OG have come in deep. CCNC once again just stunned up for control from the back line, trying to create more space. They'll be the first one to die here. Aurora is finally out, but for what avail? Nothing is really going here. And Thompson, he's the man that's going, going. He just does not give a crap. Anna will give all the life. This is just fountain farming. Gee, you got it. This is soul breaking. GG. Okay. GG. <laughs> Message has been. Game two. Now the Impetus can go out towards Anna. He'll jump away, Storm Bolt, Thompson, he's in real deep. Remember, Aegis the Immortal, he's happy to tank it through. As long as they can get a rebuttal kill, Anna sent up and towards the air. Snake is getting some time to heal up. He's got nine one charges and he needs that time. Does Pilot I have another disruption? No, it was one second away. He's stuck around. Now all he can do is just disrupt the attacking Anna. Snaking back into his damage, over to Monkey King. They really want Thompson dead. He's such a huge chunk of the damage. It's Anna, runs forward, can't get the Inkswell stun out, but you'll have the Omni-Slash. Oh my god. Oh. Take 
together you stand, together you die, and together you GG. Nubi are out, OG have knocked them down to the lower bracket. Versus Evil Geniuses. What do they do? You want to wrap around the back? Smoke's already breaking on Samael. Says the one on the front line. He's got BKB. He knows he can just be that attractor who wants to come in from EG. The melee barracks doesn't really stand a chance. Another sleep. This one's over on faces point. Ogre jumping into the back lines. Anna instantly jumps back out to help his teammates. The BKB Ogre. It was a good distraction, but EG, what can they really get out of it? A call down on top of the ramp. Ten moves forward, but here comes Anna going on top of Artizi. Where's the opening still? Flies going down. He just cannot take this bark or bite. And now the jump in from oh. three man and the Chrono. Toss them down, Popton. And maybe they got a little bit more. G-Rex controlling Samel on the back lines. There's no more BKBs. There's no more real satanic to work with. And Arteezy, so low on life, does not have the thunder. And even kills him with a prop on the field. Game three. Arteezy's trying to grab the creep waves, but they're all pushed in. The bottom lane's pushed in, which is allowing this pressure from OG up on the top as Fly. Man, G-Rex, he doesn't give to him. He's got defensive yours after available. Trip will get some ship damage into no tell, but it's... Hey, he has to fight. BKB is up for Arteezy. Now's the time, but he's getting picked up. Throws away. All oh, that farming of what did it achieve? Arteezy. Well, I'll see one kill. Earth runs to no tail. He'll blink away. Regeneration is required. Salving up to so get back to the front lines. They can't lose all these lanes of racks. Tiny is back up again. The TP is coming to the sideline. Here comes S4. Avalanche. Toss. They look towards Thompson. And maybe they got enough damage. Arteezy. The virus run from G-Rex. It'll connect the spell shield. It wasn't there to actually protect him. Now S4 is stranded. It was a hallelujah play from EG. But right now, the gods are on the side of OG. Seth will get himself a double kill. The two big claws have for so long. Agency Mortal will give Adam back his life. They're claiming the range rack. After OG beat Newbie 2-0 and Evil Geniuses 2-1, in the upper bracket finals they again beat PSG LGD 2-1. This would be almost a repeat compared to the previous year. position to be able to break smoke. Oh, he was there to break the smoke but and now he's still get cut out. More, and now Jarex is going to try and take some of this. Yes, they're going to turn and try and kill Jarex, but there goes the Chronosphere. Oh, perfectly timed with the Air Splitter. This is just a beauty of a team fight for OG. And thinking the shot on Ami as well. Rolling goes through. Nails him and tops the finish off Lightning as well. OG just perfectly execute that fight. LGD. And they're just going to die for it. She is going to wear out, but Anna is going to be able to get the counter kill onto the Shadow Demon. But now Anna is heavily extended himself, and he does have that BKB, but if he's changed on so much magic damage, he may actually fall here in the Kemper Rage. Plus the BKB, where's the physical damage? He's going to get surged out. He's going to be surging away, now he's going to turn. He's going to re-engage. He's going to turn. What a madman. He turns around and kills Shellen. Ame, they're all stunned up underneath the ice path. Another round of the tier two to fall. And a tier three. Surely to follow as PSG LGD, they just lack the strength to be able to deal with this any longer. Thompson's going to be able to get his entrance into X Nova. Follow up on it, Chalice as Jarek's managed to get the Nether Strike onto him. Chalice Burrow strikes away, and they're just going to call it GG. Sven, the back line right now. Thompson does have. He's been caught in the telekinesis, but a three-man Burrow Strike. The Ravage goes off though, controlling up on Manny. Oh, he's dead. Down by Thompson. The big swing of the Angers match. Finish Bob now. FY trying to get the force tap. Disruption out. Stop going in. That's going to be Jarek. It's already dead. No tail's quite low as well. But the course of OG going strong. The buyback coming in from Ame though. Can he come in? Can he deal with Thompson? First strike out for challenge. The next Nova is going to be left. Fed to Anna and Thompson. No tail about to burn out, but no. Oh, no tail almost died there. The press of the attack helps him though. OG, they might not be done yet. After winning against LGD 2-1, Anna met Team Liquid in the Grand Final. OG versus Team Liquid Grand Final. Mind control down to about 25% of his HP. They pop the BKB miracles for the backliners again. These guys are going to lie up. The dispel will be there. Onto no temple. 
the Joyce in with the Ravage. They're trying their best to commit on top of Seb. A gush is out. Can they even kill off the Enchilo? They've tried their best on the high ground Adam. He has been nullified. The damage output is enough. Again, the single target from Liquid. If they get it going, they can still kill the quarter. It's yet to consume the Aghanim's blessing. Liquid trying to force out these buybacks. Anna, he's got to buy back. The tier fours are being focused. They're not interested in Mega's Liquid. They're just interested in ending the game. Still holding on to it. The first tier four's down. Liquid, they're going to be able to get potentially another one out of this Kuro. Falling low on turn with the Penitence. He's still alive off the back of this. Finally, the buyback comes out. The Ancient is exposed. The Ancient's gone down. The Ravage. They're just going to keep hitting it. Oh, Liquid, they've done it. Oh, my God. What an end to game one. It looked like Liquid had it in the early game. It looked like they started to throw it away. It looked like OG. Grand Finals, game two. Left behind, they take a both call. They're gonna get the third as well by the looks of it. Oh they jump over, catch out by control, and they'll also toss back in GH as OG. They just keep killing oh every God. single member of He's gonna provide that massive amount of HP regen as well as that protection from wherever he's gonna be to pop it off. I don't think they're gonna have the damage to do with OG at all. Miracle trying to push into Thompson, but with the items that Thompson has, and the both that he does, so out, they're going to try and jump forward. The Gears are out, they've got the black hole. Team Liquid Grand Finals Game 3 Like we said, they can't even get aggressive onto the map at all As Sav just continues to stand in the base He's a bit far forward here Look we'll at the multicast, Banner's gonna come in with a backup They grab the point, keep it safe They're popping for Ravik, they're trying to get on top of at least someone They'll find no tail, Banner's surrounded He still has the ground, he the three of them Thompson's able to turn with the life drain to run them down one by one, pushing Liquid back towards the battle to rejoin the fight as OG turns, they'll get one, Chrono. there's the setup again, Anna with a three-man Chrono catches them all, double kill for Anna, the top snap to Sable, taking down Miracle, the Phantom embraces on Kuro, they chase him up to the base, triple kill for Anna, two buybacks to come out from Liquid, they but, got that, it, but he's back. that was it. They'll get another jump in, Mind Control trying to commit, Jarrett's just turns with the toss avalanche combo, my control out of the game once more. We are trying to jump in, find at least Thompson, but he's not going to get it. OG surround him, outnumber them, a toss up, back to the grave. GH is dead, GG is called. Cool. OG take game three. In game four, Arna proved that he is IO God. Team Liquid! Grand Finals, game four. Liquid. They're diving again. They, want to they got a bit of a flavor of how OG was playing in these last two games, and they're saying we could do it too. My heroes. This is really crazy. I know, but this is awful for them. This is messing their fam. Keep farming. Yeah, I should farm. <laughs> Thompson plus the cooldown. They won't go too crazy. They'll let him live. Ah, fuck it, fuck it. Get the tower. Get the mid tower. We need this fucking tower. Side lanes. Yeah, they're getting both side lanes. They're pushing both side lanes. And they're, they're not even going to get this one here. The side lanes are being split pushed. Ana as well as Jarax are actually pressuring these other two towers. And we know this is the timing. It's all about just waiting for IO to get not only Aghanims, but get that level 15 talent. That's what OG wants. Actually, I'm thinking of going SNY shit. What do you guys think? Just go, 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 Fuck it. All right. SNY it is. So his damage is going to be very high. As Sam's getting slowed down. He's got trades available, but he's going to burst. And then bring him low. He's got the shield. Now they'll be able to turn. Call out, top down by Thompson. And he'll grab the miracle. His man is gone. He's able to pop the stick, get it a fair bit of it back, and he's able to head back in, pushing OG. 
Back behind the racks. They're getting a good amount of damage onto the tier 3 tower. They quickly Level push up. On Io. That spirit hero damage is there now. Anna going to join the fray finally. There we have it. Miracle of Mana. It's pretty much entirely gone. My top is going to look for it. Yeah, yeah. There's only the boys. He's off the back of Thompson. He's on top of Kurt. Another corner is there. The toss back into the corner by Jarek. Oh That's my the God. They're all getting picked apart as my control falls. Miracle is surrounded. And they're all there. They're going to get this as well. OG, they will hold. I'm looking at the Bristol. Good job, boys. I have fucked up mother. And they're just moving into the base now, OG. They're the pushing flag. in. Flag starts to force the quit back. They'll focus Miracle. Miracle, he'll get himself he's out and away. The missile is out. The triplet, the heels to save him, but Miracle's dead. He's he doesn't savage. have buyback. Jarek is in with the combo. They'll break down GH. Oh I can't believe this. I can't believe what we're seeing in this game for OG. Yeah, it's OG. It's OG. That's OK, guys. He had a good run. GG. Yeah. GG. Get through there. GG is gone. OG, I am two times. And that's Sana, return comeback story.